Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Stinger77. We are back on the Union server today. It's been a while since I've been here. I've had some things going on, like Mindfair Chicago, which was a lot of fun. And I was also invited to a new server, so you probably already saw that video. It's called The Reef. It's filled with YouTubers. So I have been busy. But anyway, I'm back here. If you recall, I started the base down there and I made the iron farm. And we're doing really well with that. But the one thing I did not move are all the mob heads that I have. Now I got a bunch of different sheep, mostly sheep right now, but I've been trying to get all the different colored sheep. But we have other mob heads too. And so what I want to do today is to make a room that's dedicated for these. So we're gonna to try to work on the mob head showcase. And it's gonna be downstairs. It's gonna be down, well not downstairs, down at the uh, underwater base. I probably will make a room that's, that is not underwater. So it'll be have an air pocket in a way uh, because I want these things to be on display on the wall, but I don't think I can do that with uh, the water being around. So we're going to go and do that in just a second. So anyway, I want to thank you everybody for watching these videos, for giving the comments, for liking the videos. It's been very helpful. Um, I have been growing and uh, it's just been fantastic. So thank you to everybody. So anyway, let me uh, go and grab these things here. Maybe put them inside of a uh, shulker box. That's probably a good idea. We'll grab all the mob heads and then we'll get down there and we'll see where we can find a place to, uh, yeah, to build this mob head showcase. Down at the underwater base, what I want to do is I want to make some sort of a bridge or some sort of crossing here. I'm not sure out of what materials. It could be like maybe more of the acacia wood or some other wood or maybe even stone. I don't know. But going across, I want to basically make the room in here. I'm going to dig this out next. We're going to make the room pretty big. And then we're going to see about trying to get some sort of uh, a showcase style design. If you remember uh, my Fullcraft series, Fullcraft 1, I had a showcase for Hermitrons. And I'm thinking something similar to that. So, um, yeah, let me let me start some digging and, and playing around with this a little bit and see what we come up with. And hopefully you like it. First floor of the chamber is dug out. Now, if you recall in the full craft episode, I actually had glass here. I'm probably gonna do the same thing. Glass down there, and there'll be multiple levels. My idea is that back here, I would have the two elevators, one water going up and one going down. And then in these pockets here, you see, will be where the uh, heads, the mob heads will be, okay? I don't know what I'm doing with the entrance yet. I'm still working that out, but I really wanted to do some work on this. I want to make some quartz pillars here. Uh, let's see here. Let's make a bunch of these. Let's make a half a stack. Okay. And these are kind of the pillars that I want to show off. Now, this I should have this all the way across. We can do that really quick, though. So, if this is here, that's not what I wanted. Neither is that. Oh, man. Got to place it on the floor and go up. Let's, uh... <laughs> Lock placement is critical. Orientation matters. That there and that, that there. Okay. So, like, there's a pillar, right? Let's go down with it. There we go. Okay. And we want to do the same thing over here. Okay. Make sure I got it right. And I want this going across. Okay. Okay, now that's kind of like how I want these each of these to be framed. So I'm going to do that next, and then I think I'm going to work on these this section here. I'm not sure what I want to do. Um, I might do some stone brick or some other form of brick, to give us some color contrast. This I would like to go something other than the gray though. I'm going to have to take a look. But the idea here, like I said, is there's going to be frames, item frames showing the mob heads, and then I'll have a, like a chest or a shulker box or something down here, which will have all the extras that are like, say if I have um, more than one red sheep head, the extras will be down here, okay? Let me uh, go and figure out what I'm going to do for this wall and frame this up a little bit more, and we'll see how it looks. This is what I imagine. You can see here I've got all of these columns set up, but I've set up a module here. I'm calling these modules, and then what it would have would have frames for the mob heads, and has some lighting and that sort of thing. You can see the chest will be there and this will be where the extras are, okay? So I'm gonna do that with these two here, make this look right. And then I'm going to, I don't know, 
Probably I'm going to work on the floor because most of the room is done. i got to get the floor done. But the floor is a little tricky because I really want to have a second floor so you can look down into more modules. Um, so, you know, that's going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm hoping that it'll work out. But first, you know, I've got to get over uh, into there, get the stuff I need, come back, get these modules done so we can at least get this room looking right except for the floor. And I'm going to do that right now. So let's go see. I've been cooking up some of this... Uh, Nether brick right here. I got a bunch of those, and I make. I've been just doing this. It's kind of expensive and time-consuming to wait for it. You get eight pieces. You know, it's not a lot. But basically, what goes on here is you always have one down here. You put one here, and when you have eight, and that's what you normally would see. That's the the visible parts. And let's just put some stuff on here. Got the frames. You can see that. And then the chest would go right there. There we go. And then we need some more of these stairs. And the stairs go here and here. And then they go here, here, and here. You can see it's pretty easy to work with. Um, I can put the sea lanterns up there and put another brick so we have that up there as well. Um, it's going to be pretty darn cool. Let me get this done, get these models done, and then we'll see from there what goes on. Things are coming along really well. What I've done here, for now, there will be another floor down below this where you can see down into it. But for now, I'm just going to put another rack there to just give us some color. And that's going to be it, I think, for that. At least for now. Until I know how many I need. I don't want to make a whole other floor and then not need it. But uh, we'll have that there. So I'm going to put some glass over this. That way we can kind of see down in if I have a second floor. I still don't know what I'm going to do about this edging. Um, I don't quite know yet. I've also been working on this part here. This is where the elevators are going to be. Um, so there might be put another one there. Maybe one going up, one going down, back there. Okay. So you can imagine that this would be hollow right here, or be where a water stream would be to uh, for the up elevator and down elevator. Okay. And you can see each of these little rooms here doing looking really good. The little modules, if you will. And I've got, still got to do the ceiling and some other things here. But it's looking pretty good. And what this will be is then is the showcase for the mob heads. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to see, try to figure out what I want to do with this trim. I might extend the nether rack down. I don't know. I don't have a lot of it yet. The nether brick, I mean. I still have to get the other ceiling done and uh, get some other things configured, like get you know, more spots. I'm working on it. It's getting better. Um, I'm liking where it's going. I also have to work on this entrance and get the bridge. I haven't even done that. I've been just swimming across, you know, it's like this. <laughs> so I, I got to work on that too. As you know, I am not that great at decorations, so uh, I'm doing my best here. Uh, I'm interested to hear what you think. You know, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about what it is like so far. It's the midpoint. So give me give me a midpoint um, review of what you think it is or how it's going so far. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Let's take some time here. Let's put some heads down and see what we have. I'm going to put some other this junk in here for a second. And let's work with uh, sheep. How about that? Okay. Let me see. There's a black and white, blue and blue, and some green and some green. Yeah, let's try that. So basically the idea is you put the sheep head up there. There's a white one. Just like that. Now see, I have two here. So I'll put that in here, the extras of the same type. And you might want to try to do some organization, maybe. Maybe I'll do the darker one and the lighter one. So I'll put that one there. See, so it looks sort of organized like that. Well, that's what we got. We got those heads there. Let's go get some more here. Um, I can get more rid of some of this junk. I want to keep the rockets on me, though. Let's see, you got some more sheep. Where are some more sheep? There's a sheep head. Not a lot of sheep head here, so I'll put that one there and that one there for now. And we can always relocate things, move them to different positions, that sort of thing. Um, there are some fish here. Cod, fish. Let's see, rabbits, puffer fish. Zombie heads. Hmm. Let's just grab them all. We can figure out where they go later. Okay, so we'll put one there. And we'll put the rest in here. Salmon head. 
let's see. Let's pick another one here. Where'd it go? Oh, Cod's already up there. Okay. Over fish head. Put that in there. Let's boost squid here. Okay. And then back here. To the guardian. Let's do some mobs. That's what we're going to do some here. There's the mini guardian. And I believe I have an elder guardian. Where is it? Hard to see some of these. Drowned. Well, we'll just start putting stuff up here. There's the cow head, chicken head, cast head, rabbit head. Wow, we've got a lot of these various heads. This is pretty cool. And over here, let's see. A bat head. There we go. There we go. I think that's all of the heads. I don't see any more in my inventory. Make sure we don't have any in here. Oh, we do have an Elder Guardian head. That's right. Okay, so let me take that off. Put that over there. There we go. So now you can see my collection of heads. Uh, it's pretty darn nice. I, I might try to dig this out down below and just work on that some more. Um, just to get that there. Because I know we're going to run out of head space here soon. And I'd like to have this done. Let me first, though, let's work on making this bridge and entrance way next. Now, I'm not sure about what I want to do here. Um, I'm thinking maybe a like more of a acacia wood right here. Let's see if I can find some acacia. Do I have acacia in here? Yes, I do. I got a whole bunch. Okay. Let's do that here. Because you can see it's basically right here. It was four wide. But I did three wide across the way. So maybe I should do that over here. Let's see here. Do the same thing on this side. I gotta figure out also a way to keep the water from flowing in. Um, oops, that's not right. Grab that real quick. There we go. The water, if you have, you can see here, uh, it's flowing in <laughs> now because I screwed up. Um, but I want to make keep this water from flowing in to this area, and I'm not sure how to do it. I have some signs. Maybe I'll make the passage narrow. I do that there. I got to correct those corners. Uh, did I go up or over on these? I went straight up. Okay. So put one here. And put one right here. It's just, you know, I keep trying to see what I, can I do better with this. I don't like how it's flush. I got to maybe make some changes up here and a little bit there. I got to figure out the spacing there for this wall. You know what? I think I will go um, up this here put in like maybe like it's a thick beam here there we go I'm just trying to wing it here um, let me get some of this work done and I'll show you what it looks like in just a little bit so I think with this I want to make this like be a three wide bridge I'm gonna put like um, some spruce here and I need to change it up a little bit, maybe change some things on this. But let me uh, see here. Let's go get some slabs. I'll make the bridge some slabs here. That'll give us a little bit of, of kind of a way to see what I want. Um, this will be like, obviously it's too clean. I want to make this a little bit um, rougher. But I want that to be kind of like the bridge that goes over. And I think... What I would like to do is, no, not right there. What I'd like to do is, because I have like an overhang here, I would like to be able to have it be um, like, like suspended a little bit. I keep thinking things go down and they actually go up now. Have one over here and then we can put maybe some blocks above this. I don't know if I like that, it's a little bit tight. Um, but I was thinking about having then using some um, iron bars to help this out. Let's see if I can go up here. I'm just trying something out. I'm not, like I said, I've never been very good at decorating. Get on there. There we go. So it's kind of like supporting the weight of this bridge from my base portion to the showcase area. 
Now, I just want to see what this kind of looks like. I mean, it's it's okay. Um, I need to differentiate this out a little bit. Maybe put some, I don't know, some other stuff around it to make it look better. Um, let me work on this some more. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think. What would go good with that? Maybe you have some suggestions. Suggestions. You could let me know down in the comment section. Um, thinking about maybe I could put another one of those there. Let me get some more slabs and make it like broken. So, uh, yeah, I don't know why I would need a water bucket underwater. <laughs> um, but like have it here and then have maybe um, this and then have just one. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll do that like a little bit more over here too. So it's kind of like being supported, but not quite all the way. If that makes any sense. Really hard to get that stuff underwater. Okay, so now I think I think that'll be okay. Now what I want to do here is I would like to make a little bit difference. Let's make some um, trap doors. These are really nice. Um, I like the look of these. I'll probably use them a lot, actually. Um, but like, let's um, let's go like over here, and let's put one over here. Okay, and then um, let's just give it make it a little rougher. Yeah, a little bit. You know, it will be bouncing around on a little bit, makes it look a little different. Does it change direction here? Yeah. See, it's already looking a little bit nicer. Now, I gotta do some work on the walls here. I wanna decorate the walls. I want to uh, put in similar to what I did here. Just break up the texture a lot. Um, I should really do this too. Let me uh, take some time to do this. I think you're gonna like this when it gets done. The diorite has got to go. Don't like the diorite. Time to start texturizing this side. I'm using a lot of these different gray blocks here. Various things, you know, we want some stone brick maybe, maybe some cracked one. It's like really cracked down there. Add some color with some mossy ones. Yeah, this is gonna look real nice. Now back here, I did take out a lot of this diorite. Probably took out too much, really. Um, but I'm going to start to fill this in as well. So let's see. Let's go here, here. Like that. Grab some gravel. Let's grab a stone brick. I don't like how that's turning out right there. Um, I don't like how it's just lots of columns. So we'll put one of this over here. And we'll put another one there. And maybe some gravel. And uh, let's see here. Some stone is still good. We can still have some stone here. No. I mean, just changing out the texture like that makes it look uh, so much better than just a standard flat stone wall. Um, so let's just keep on doing this, and hopefully this will work out. I'm hopefully the next clip, when I get done, you'll be uh, satisfied with my uh, terrain differentiation work that and put one of those there we go okay give me a sec i think it's about done everybody you can see it's overgrown with some seagrass i've got some uh, various textures when you fly around here you can see it got some various like things hanging off of it and that sort of thing so it looks kind of cool you know it's just not always connected it looks pretty darn good i think um, especially for what i usually do and then when you walk in here of course the door can close but i just keep it open uh, i don't like the water thing but you can't really help that when you transition from water to an air pocket but uh, when you walk in here you can see the entrance is pretty nice and then over here we have the various heads or that we've been getting from mob heads from drops okay it's looking really really good okay now i think right now what i want to do though is i want to go back to the uh community center because i believe that thomas grillo has some mob heads for sale and even though I want to try to um, get as many of these by myself um, he has some for sale but I don't have already let's go over to the community center 
Just arrived back at the community center. This is Grillo's. This is where he's got a lot of his stuff. So let's go look around here and see. A lot of signs to read. Let's see. Brewers. Yeah, he heads here. I wonder if they're probably in a different area. They used to be in this room somewhere. Not here. Thomas, did you move them? Maybe they're upstairs. But you can see he's got some other heads there too that I don't have yet. So let's go look upstairs here. See anything there? Or there? Hmm. I thought he had stuff for sale. I'm going to look around for a little bit and see what I can see. While we're looking around, we might as well just uh, give you a little bit quick, quick tour of the server right now. I'm not sure where he would have put those though. So over here is my wood shop. I just checked that earlier. Uh, the wood shop does not have any uh, sales in it. That's that's okay. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think, where would Thomas have put those for sale? I don't know. This is our mail shop. This is Kent's shop. This is our magnificence. Pause player tens is right over there. Pretty cool. It's kind of like a stone shop. And we have my elytra shop and rocket shop. We have Jude's shop here. It used to sell paper. I think I sell something else now. Uh, mob heads. Mob heads. One diamond or five emeralds. Okay. I don't have a cave spider. Let's do that. Various gems. That's good. So, okay. So far, we got one head. Let's go around look around some more here. We've got a trading hall coming. This is Chili's. That's DSA's shop. Hmm. I don't know where he moved his mob heads. He had like phantom heads and other things for sale. I was hoping to get a phantom head specifically. I don't know. I might have to ask him at a later time. We got at least one head though. I'm surprised that it's not here. Oh, I'm also surprised he wouldn't put a sign up that says go someplace else. So, uh... Interesting. Okay, then. Well, let's head back to our uh, base, and I'll put this new head in the showcase. Passing up the Guardian Farm. There's the double iron farms. And down here is the cave. There it is. I'm going to go over here. Let's put this thing in there. Still swimming. That's good. And we have this here, the cave spider head, and we got a spot right there. Okay, so we've got a lot of the mob heads. We've got a lot more to do. Um, yeah, it'll take a little bit. But I think, everybody, that this is all I have time for for today's episode. I hope you like it. I hope you liked uh, what I've done decoratively. Um, I'm looking for comments. Let me know what I could do better. Um, I, you know, like I've always said, I'm not as good at decorating. I've been trying though. And, uh, let's see it. Let's get a test screenshot real quick. There we go. So, uh, yeah. Thanks everybody. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comments section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications. Otherwise it's hit or miss. And if you're new here, please subscribe. It really does help out. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.